Hi everyone, my name is Xiaoyu, and my topic today is Blind Deconvolution with Richardson Lucy Algerson. The background of this project is to recover from a blurred image without knowing the point spread function PSF. We have learned about blind deconvolution in lectures, but we don't have much practice or experience on that. So I conducted some researches on blind deconvolution. However, I find with almost all recent blind deconvolution algorithm, there are complicated optimization problems, signal processing, free uh, transformations, and even deep neural networks. It could cost me a lot of time to be familiar with these difficult concepts. And I just wonder if there's an easy method to do blind deconvolution. First, let's take a look at Richardson Lucy algorithm. It's an iterative approach for recovering a latent image that has been blurred by a known point spread function PSF. Obviously, this specific algorithm cannot handle blind deconvolution, but we will see how it will help later. This algorithm could be captured by this formula, where I hat is the latent image estimation, B is the blurred image, K is the PSF, and K star is the flip PSF. Flip just means reversing the order of every element. Given its formats, you only need several simple iterations to recover the latent image, and it could probably converge to the maximum likelihood solution for the latent image. Here are some results from our algorithm, and we use PSNR as the evaluation matrix, peak signal to noise ratio. It's the ratio between the maximum possible power of a signal and the power of crafting noise. And we use mean square error here as the noise. Generally, the higher PSNR value, the better. Compare the blurred image and recovered image. We can clearly tell that the recovered image is visually less blurry. However, it has a lower PSNR value. This is because of the convolution operation and we have some artifacts on the boundaries. To mitigate this kind of artifact, we could wrap the boundary first and then apply our RL algorithm. Then, not only do we have visually compelling results, but also a higher PSNR value because there are less artifacts on the boundaries. Besides, it only takes about 25 iterations to reach this result, which shows that the convergence of RL algorithm is quite fast. Then go back to our initial goal of blind deconvolution. Given that the blurred image is the original image convolves with the PSF and plus some noises, we have both latent image and PSF unknown. Since RL algorithm helps with estimation of latent image, can we estimate PSF similarly? Actually, we can. This is the RL algorithm for blind deconvolution. The first formula is just the same as the previous RL algorithm, but it simply adds the second formula in each iteration to estimate the PSF in the same way. Within this new algorithm, each iteration is still simple, but unfortunately there's no guarantee on good convergence result. And there's a problem that result may heavily depend on the PSF initialization and mainly depend on the kernel stats instead of the kernel values. Here are some results from our algorithm for blind deconvolution. The left image is blurred by a random five by five PSF. If we restore it with a full five by five PSF initialization, the result is visually compelling and has higher PSNR value. However, if we restore it with a full nine by nine PSF initialization, we will have lower PSNR with lots of obvious artifacts. Also, it only takes 10 iterations to reach the top red result, which is a fast convergence. This method has some limitations, of course. First, it requires a good estimation of the kernel size of PSF for good performance, which could, could be hard in real world application. Second, in terms of PSNR values, the restoration improvement in the blind setting is not very significant, and more works could be done in the future. Finally, these are my references, and that's all for my presentation.
Thank you.